When Badajo, the leader, the chairman of Meti Allah, was arrested by Tinubu based on felonies, felony gain one treasonable felony, act of terrorism. Fulani has men killed and killed in all the communities in Nigeria. Igbo man is there agitating for Biafra. They have not crossed the river Niger and go Nto. It is a lie. Nto, Nto Bato. Iwayemu went to meet in the canoe with Igbo stakeholders. I mean, top who is who in Igbo land. They formed this tax force to meet the office with the office of the presidency on what, how to profile processes to getting Nande Kano out of DSS cage. He was not the only person that had one-on-one -on -one rapport with Nande Kano. Many, many Igbo billionaires, elites, stakeholders did. Why is he saying that? He is talking rubbish that Nande Kano is not in support of IPOB. Who is it? Iwayahun. Emmanuel Iwayahun. Oga, listen to me again. I explain it anytime. I try to make my point clear, my view, to all Nigerians, to the world, all Nigerians, all Europeans, Americans, and so on and so forth, that the meaning of indigenous people of Biafra is any person that is born native of one, Anambra State, Southeast, River State, Southeast, Bayelsa State, Southeast, anybody that is born, giving birth to in this land I enumerated now is an IPOB. Indigenous people of Biafra. Indigenous, indigenous persons of Biafra. If you are born in Enugu State, you are from Imo State, Abia State, Eboin State, Uyo, Akwebom State, Kalaba, Cross River State, Parakot River State, Delta, former Bendel states, is part of Biafra. We are all indigenous people of Biafra. IPOB has been proscribed by Nigerian courts. Still, the public officers, officer holders in this regime of Tinubu, persist bagging IPOB terrorist organization. They are rubbishing Nigerian justice, or you call it ju judiciary. They are rubbishing the courts rulings in Nigeria. When Badajo, the leader, the chairman of Meti Allah, was arrested by Tinubu based on felonies, felony gain one treasonable felony, act of terrorism. Fulani has men killed and killed in all the communities in Nigeria. Igbo man is there agitating for Biafra. They have not crossed the river Niger and go to uh, and went to uh, Delta State capital Asaba and kill anybody. They are in Enugu, in Anambara, in Oka, everywhere. Agitating for Biafra, they did not kill anybody. The agents of death from Asadi Dokubo, when Buhari employed him to kill people in Igbo land, they are the one doing it. IPOB people are marching when they were Mazob, agitating for Biafra. Obi regime killed and killed many of them. Rocha Sokorosha government killed and maimed and killed many of them. Obasanjo killed and killed and maimed many of them under Mazob. Rafa was Rike. Oga, Atikumu then were killed. Hope was the man currently is killing. Omar he killed when he was governor of Ebony State. Oga, Omar he Zukwenike. Hope was the man Zukwenike. Buhari Zukwenike. Bono. Malami Zukwenike. You people have been killing and killing these people, tagging them IPOB. Who are you? Charles Soludo. Are you not from indigenous? Person of that land. Hope Zadima is an indigenous, indigenous person of that land, which connotes that all of us are IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra, indigenous people of Igbo land. Oga Obi is an IPOB. If not, Amulianenu who Obi Obosu Nabruanuenu Oboyanuana. Obi, hope who's on the man? Omahe, Habuso, Abu Anyenu, Abu Anuane. Why are we crucifying grammar? It is a grammatical error of the highest order to tell me that anybody that is an Igbo man bearing a mekuchenna is not an IPOB.
You are insulting the land called Igbos. The land, the Igbo land, is subjected under to attack, verbal attack, insult by all these political bigots, Fulani political bigots that comes down to Igbo land, divide us, and they are ruling us. I can never be part of that. Listen and listen good. What he said about Nandi Kanu is a lie. Nandi would not have said that. Iwayan is telling us lies. But he said it's a good news for um, Kanu to have um, denounced him Biafra. No, no, no. If he denounced him. Uh, <laughs> who, tell, who tells you? Who is telling you that one that Kanu is denying his brothers? Iwayan is Kanu can never deny his brothers. Kanu is denying hope who's on the map. Kanu is denying hope who's on the map. Kanu is denying Mba, Governor Mba of Enugu State. Kanu is denouncing all the activities, all the criminalities, bloody ones perpetrated by Dave Umai when he was governor of a boy state. Nandi Kanu is denying him. Nandi Kanu is not denying me. I'm his brother. Anybody that is born in Igbo land, indigenous, indigenous, go and pieces the meaning of indigenous. You are A.S. Hombai, Advanced Learners Dictionary. If that is not enough, Google Lexicon on what? Google. Write indigenous, indigene. It will teach you the meaning of indigenous. Before you put people, it will teach you persons, people, persons, human being, born in Igbo land. Okay, it is English. I don't know why English language is denying some people mental what? Entrance. It should enter your brain well to know the meaning of indigenous, indigenization, indigen. Oga, Emmanuel Uwayanwa, Biakwa Nozo. How do you see the whole project in Anana Nibo? How do you see the project half? It will half, Tiana, Baha. Some of the projects in Abia Nambara State, after they will block it, it will do what? Where they go, Tiana, Baha. He was an Agbazia in Abu Kain and the Fulani Bulufu, Kabiafra, Na, Ndinina Mulna, Aga Biafra, Echezofa, Oga, blood is thicker than water. The people that were killed illegally from 1966 to 1970, the blood of the innocent, pregnant women, the blood of the innocent, Pachoko projected children by the war through the policy thrown out to go on by Awolo. Listen and listen good. Those children that died during the war, their blood, their souls, their spirits are crying. And you know what? Nemesis, retribution, Lord of Karma. God is taking vengeance for these children, for these men, for this fallen hero. That's why there is no peace in the southeastern Nigeria until Nigeria come up and do what? Come, Haga, come, they must compensate. Those people that were wounded wrongly, they must compensate the families of those that lost their loved one. When Nigerians are protesting against it at home by the Biafrans, I think you have seen the aftermath of that protest. You don't protest when I'm nursing pain over the death of my brother, my mother, my father. I must do what? Remember my dead ones. Willy nilly, whether I like it or not. Remembrance Day is coming next year, that first May. Whether you like it or uh, not. No, you know, uh, see, people are trying to cultivate a lot of things because uh, it is becoming very clear that the supreme leader himself, the Mazi, Ikuku himself, the, the one and only, you know, the, the man among men, talking about Namdekano, uh, the Mazi himself, uh, can never do that, you know. Uh, Hanese, I know, led by Iwanyamu, though his tenor is coming to an end, by the end of his tenor, somebody from Ikwere River State will emerge the next Ohaneze leader. Yes, uh, and uh, when you look at Ohaneze under the leadership of Iwanyawo, uh, you understand to an extent uh, what the man is up to. Uh, there has been a serious underground uh, movement uh, trying to uh, give Namdekano a political solution. And uh, we, from what we are having to now, any moment from now, Namdekano will be released. And to that effect, Ohanese was able to establish a tax force, you know, that went to the DSS custody, where Namdekano is illegally uh, detained, uh, you know, uh, uh, and had a, a, a discussion 
that has never been made public. You know, so anybody that is coming that uh, uh, with that kind of propaganda is unfortunate that uh, uh, those kind of uh, uh, stories or news uh, making run as rumor and cannot be tolerated and can, and can be seen as quite unnecessary. So the fact still remains that as it stands now, Ohanes Njibo uh, uh, has taken a further step, you know, to make sure that that illegality, you know, uh, is being brought to stop. And uh, uh, of course, uh, Elijah Tuku Abubakar also made a similar statement. You know, a lot of people, people from the U.S., uh, the US a, a man who has spent most of his years, years in America as a U.S. soldier, also make a similar uh, pronouncement about Namdekano that it is time for the federal government now to listen to Namdekano. Uh, a lot of the leaders, you know, around the world, Shehu Sani, you know, uh, you know Shehu Sani, the senator from Kaduna, uh, for, uh, who contested uh, the governor, governorship of Kaduna State, also visited Namdekano. So a lot of people have been uh, have been going there, have been going there to uh, pay him a visit, and uh, uh, you know, uh, they understand the angle. But the fear is this, you know, that Namdekano any moment from now, uh, once it comes out, uh, it might likely continue to advance the agenda and restoration of the Republic of Biafra. And of course, uh, the, the first black Jewish state in Africa. Thank you. But, but, but do you want to offer, do you think that if um, in the country release, do you think that they will, they will finally there will be peace in the South East? No, you see, the presence is you not, know, they said that through one man, uh, salvation came, and through one man, uh, sin came. In, you know, uh, Namdekan has been seen as a symbol, you know, of nationality of Biafra. Namdekan is seen as a symbol of justice. Nazi is seen as a symbol of hope. Namdekan is seen as a symbol of increase, advancement. Namdekan is seen as fulfillment. Namdekan is seen as the hope, you know, of the Jewish black nation that's about to emerge from Africa. Namdekan is a seen as a symbol of freedom. Namdekan is seen. In so many perspectives, not only in, in the entire Biafra, even in the southwest and in the north, you know, you can see that everybody is trying to uh, encourage that spirit of Biafra that is everywhere now. Everywhere I want to, everybody wants to become Biafra, you know, because, you know, they, they have tested it, you know, they have seen the goodness aspect of it, and they feel that, you know, that if finally that nation uh, uh, emerges, in fact, uh, it will be the dream of the whole of African uh, Jewish black people all over the world. And, uh, and that's why uh, when you talk about Nam De Kano, uh, there's a kind of joy you know, that he brings, his presence brings. And that's why uh, once he's been released, like he said, there will be total tranquility and peace. Now, total tranquility and peace in the entire Biafra land.